Hello everyone, welcome back to another LGT and Vibe video. The goal of these videos is to engage, support, and create empathy amongst parents and students. Today's topic is about growing up in a single parent household. My name is Julia Zhu. I am a grade 12 student attending Dr. Norm Bethune CI. And today we have a special guest who's going to tell us her own experiences and her perspective about growing up in a single parent household. Can you introduce yourself for us, Rebecca? Yeah, so hi everyone. My name is Rebecca and I am a second year nursing student at George Brown College and I'm happy to come and share my experience with you guys. Great, so we're gonna go straight into our questions. So my first question is, why do you think it is important to have your parent or your parents by your side? Um, I think parents definitely for support, um, just having someone who you can go to, who's always kind of around at points of your life and who can see you progress is just very important. Also for guidance purposes, I think it's helpful to have someone who has gone through different stages of life and who has past your age and probably done things that you have that you are trying to do right now and they can just offer you any advice that they have definitely because as a child you always need a role model and it's always nice to look up to your mom or your dad for help yeah exactly so can you tell us some of your experiences as a child of a single parent always been the four of us and we've had um, a very close-knit family that way um, I have a really good relationship with my mom, actually. She's always been there for me. Um, I really thank her for um, showing me how to be a good person. And she's been, an, um, honestly, an ex excellent role model to me. And with us being such a close family, I kind of put it in a way that I have given the amount of love and energy that I would otherwise give to two parents. And I've put all of that into my mom. And I think that really helps us build up our relationship. That's great, because for me too, I also have like a single mom. It's great that like, I'm very grateful for her and what she does for us, especially when she's alone. So mm -hmm. definitely we gotta like return that love yes. and shower her with what she deserves. Exactly. So as a single child, there are bound to be challenges that maybe other students or other children might not have. Can you tell us some of your challenges when you were growing up? Yeah. So living in a single parent household i guess it would the very prominent thing is you're living in a household with only one income so only one parent bringing in majority of the money so i guess as a child i kind of learned really fast what we could afford what we could not afford and also i learned the value of money that way i knew when things were too expensive to ask for i knew when there was certain programs or trips or activities that i wasn't gonna be able to participate in because my mom had to pay for me and my two sisters living expenses. And some things were just extra that I couldn't have. At the same time, I had to grow up a little faster. I had to be able to help out more around the house. I had to be able to help out with my younger sisters. I was also the oldest. So um, it just gave me more responsibility. But at the end, if I look back now, it has helped me grow a lot. Definitely, like as the oldest as well, you have that responsibility yeah. and like there's, there's this pressure on you, it's like even just from like yourself and as well for your uh, younger sisters. So yeah. definitely there's that pressure. What are some ways you cope with that pressure or some ways that you solve the problems that you have? Yeah, so definitely would be independence and different things like that so when i was 12 the very first kind of job that i got was delivering newspapers in my area and it was a really small job i got paid a couple cents per flyer but it taught me independence responsibility it taught me to do things on my own and then once i turned 15 i got my first actual job and ever since then i started paying for everything i wanted by myself um i stopped asking my mom for money and i said that kind of relieve some pressure from both her and I because I could start getting things that I wanted without feeling guilty for asking for it. And she would not have to pay for some things that I want. And then there's also outside sources. So if you go on the internet, there are plenty of scholarships and programs that cater specifically to um, families that come from a single parent household. 
so that's where I've gotten a lot of money from my universities is scholarships that were specific to my needs. So there are plenty of programs out there. It's great that you learn how to be independent and how to solve your problems by yourself. That's all we have for today. And if you have any questions, you can contact any of our student ambassadors in the link down below in the description box. Thank you, Rebecca, for talking with us today and sharing her experiences of growing up in a single parent household. Thank you all for watching this video and we look forward to see you guys in our next LGTM5 video. Thank <laughs> you.